Ealing and Yule. 21-15 in the second game, having already taken the first 21-17. Rest of the uh, afternoon and uh, a very warm welcome wherever you are just joining as you can see confirmation of the scores from our first four matches on court number one and plenty more action to come for you here on day two of this leaning BWF World Championships 2014 and this is what we've got next for you next four matches and then some singles, women's singles starting off with Sina Newell up against Natalia Permanova. Chen Long in action against Luca Raba. Tommy Sugiato, Indonesia's hope, up against Derek Wong before mixed doubles action. So first up, it's Sina and Natalia. Newell against Permanova. Women's singles, second round action. Sina had a day off yesterday, this young lady. She uh, came through a, a fairly tough uh, encounter early on against Anna Rankin before coming through pretty comfortably in the end, 21-12, 21-14. So, Jim, day two, and uh, I suppose like yesterday, when we arrived, we, there was one seed out, uh, one seed out in the uh, women's singles, um, but no real huge upsets. Disappointment, obviously, in, in the last game for... Uh, Denmark, as far as the mixed doubles were concerned, but it went according to the form, but really. It, it went according to the form, and and, and uh, the only thing is that I've seen uh, Mass Carling and you play in training. I thought they, I actually thought they would do better than they did here. Um, but I must say, uh, Sue and Ma also look better than I've seen them in a long time, so it probably comes down to that. So, uh, But they're still both in in the men's doubles and, and the ladies' doubles, so they still have games, uh, the Danes there, so. Well, we're keeping our eye now, of course, on this young lady, Sina Newell, 24-year-old from Hyderabad, has had a fantastic career, ranked number seven, and, and looked a little bit more like her old self in, in recent months. She didn't play in the Commonwealth Games. She claimed she had some blister issues. Uh, she also missed the Asian Badminton Championships this year. She's kind of been making sure she's fit and ready for weeks like this week played in the uber cup and of course she uh, wants to be playing in Incheon in the asian games here's her opponent natalia permanova from russia obviously through one round a negative win ratio this year she has made a couple of semi-finals in france and, and finland but obviously playing 
levels that are, well, ranked lower than which sign is competing in. So she's going to have a tough task here. And especially when you look at their previous matchup, they played in India in January. And look at that scoreline. It was pretty emphatic, wasn't it? Yeah. And she is. She's a big favorite in this match. And last time we saw her really be playing well was at the Uber Cup in, in India. So she's also playing well in India, Sina. So uh, but it'll be interesting to see if she's really up to the stand that we saw in her at the Olympics. Susan Taylor from Australia. There's our umpire and service judge, Frank Enevolten from Denmark. You know, I look at this and uh, I'm looking at the draw and, uh, you know, Sina's record in the World Championships. Last four World Championships, she's gone out at the quarterfinal stage. She's due to meet in the quarterfinals, Li Shue in Denmark. And uh, you just fear that it's going to be another quarterfinal exit for her. That's going to be a very tough one for her. I don't think Li Shue is a particularly good opponent for Sena. So, uh, um, I mean, she has had some joy against Chinese opposition, hasn't she? Yeah. Over the years. Yeah. It depends how fit, how firing she is really here. Yeah. But it's not a, it's not the, I think you, if you gave her the choice, it would not be Lisa Race you, you wanted to yeah. play against, so. Especially as early as the quarterfinals, yeah. but that's the fact she's down to number seven now in the world rankings as well. Of course, she's been as high as number two. Her opponent today ranked 44 in the world. And she still needs to win this one, of course. <laughs> but the odds are not, of course, not on uh, Natalia's uh, side. And it'd be interesting to see if she goes into this as, as a mission or if she's just satisfied with coming to this stage because she, she she's probably very happy with the win she had yesterday. And and we should remember as well, of course, Sina, we saw play well at the Uber Cup. She then won as well in uh, Indonesia. I right? yeah. oh, no, in Australia, I beg your pardon. That was her last tournament. So she comes here, like we spoke about, Jana Jorgensen, and you know, pretty confident with the way things are going, moving in the right direction after what's been a a tough period so we're ready to get underway a nice start for permanova lovely little drop shot yeah and she can she can pretty much play freely this is a if you can see it will say, say that in sports it's a free game for her um Sometimes you see players raise their level to something you haven't seen before because they're just pretty calm and loose and they're not afraid to use shots that maybe if they were a little bit nervous they wouldn't use. So. But Sina, a very strong player. And the fact that she didn't defend her Commonwealth Games title, I mean, disappointing from a in India point of view, of course, PV Sindhu ended up going out in the semi-finals. So, uh, no gold for that. Of course, Kashyap did win gold. And, well, he ended up losing in the first round yesterday against Dita Domka. So, yeah. you know, Sina, I think, has got her eyes on some bigger prizes here, hasn't she? Definitely. And she should have. So, uh, yeah, more pressure. Oh, good shot again there. Confident start oh. from Pervanova. And she's doing the right thing, she's moving Sina. And she's using a little bit of the sky shot there. And if she can get those one in play, then there is a possibility of doing something. Well, she's got a length right, hasn't she? Yeah. A nice little drop shot to win one point, and then right to the back of the court to win another. Just missed her angle there, but That's decent the pressure. Attempt. That's, yeah, it's a decent attempt, but that's the pressure she will have. She knows that she has to go for it when the chance is there. Rallying too much, I think, Sina would be the odds is in, in her favor. So sometimes you will probably see these shots be a little bit too wide or too long. Ah, oh, great. Great disguise shot for Sina. Yeah, two titles this season for... Sina Nawal mentioned the win in Australia. She also won the uh, Indian Open Grand Prix gold. And as we mentioned earlier, on her way to winning that, she beat this opponent who only took 15 points off her permanent over.
down to a number eight in the world, Sina. She had toe fracture, sinus problems. Yeah, and the, I think the fact after the Olympics where she got her bronze, I know the circumstances was a little bit uh, with, with injuries and stuff like that. But but that was a big thing for her, and it is a huge thing to get a bronze medal at the Olympics. Well, it was the first that uh, India had got. Exactly, yeah, and of course that, that comes with a lot of pressure. And I think she's, you know, we first see Zaina now where she's getting used to that pressure. Uh, and I think we saw that, as you said, in the Uber Cup and in the Australian Open. And what about having a, a new kid on the block as well, PV Sindhu? That helps. That helps. Competition-wise, you know, training-wise as well. I don't know how uh, if they train in the same place. Actually, I, I don't think they do that. But just to have somebody there in the same country that's pushing is always a good thing. to deal with it, but the power was too much for Natalia Perman over there from Sina Nawal. No. Again, good length. It's quite a good start by uh, Perman over. Yeah, played in the World Championships in Guangzhou last year, lost in the first round there, so she's bettered that performance already with her win over Anna Rankin yesterday. Again, great length. Really fantastic by Permanova. And she's doing some of the damage that 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 Sina doesn't like. The rallies, moving her from side to side, and therefore it's so extremely important for her to have the right length. Because if if she doesn't have the length, Sina is too her smashes, her sticks and cuts are too good for her to be in defense. So good start. Yeah, excellent start from Permanova. Gonna have to maintain this standard though to live with Sina. She'll certainly get some confidence from the way she's begun. Definitely. Oh, that's a great spin shot. Absolutely fantastic Third, spin shot. Nine, have a look at that. Comes here. Plays in. That is almost impossible for Pamela to get that back. She doesn't get the cork at the end, so good technique. Yeah, there we see again, she's able to put pressure on Sena to the back court and especially to the down, really in the corners and looks like it, that's there, you see, it's really hard for Sina. She wants to be in control of the rallies. Good rally. Yeah. 11 7, interval. 
Well, a very enjoyable first uh, quarter of the game, really. Sarah Nowell on top, but she's been made to work by the Russian Natalia Perman over here. Just couldn't quite execute that drop shot as she would like, but she's uh, played one or two delightful shots. to seven the interval lead for Sina Nawal here. She gets it going, there you are. That smash of hers can be such a weapon. Now is uh, Sina Nawa here. A couple of excellent points. And that's why she wants to be in control of the rallies because when, when she's got, on, she's on top on the back course, she can come in with these slices and her smashes and her drop shots. She doesn't like to be the one who's been pushed around on court. Yeah, I mean, if there is, likes that. No, but if there is a, a slight weakness to her game, she's not maybe the most nimble. No, I figured it should. Exactly. But she's good at, by her tactical. Uh, cleverness and her power. She's good at getting out of that a lot of times, but I think that is her weakness. It's a very flat serve. I don't know if you picked up on that, Jim. Basically, Sina was complaining that the service she, she thought was, the a serve was a full, and she turned to the service charge and too flat. She had yeah. her ra racket too high, and, yeah. and, and she was wondering why it wasn't that cold. Uh, you see often that. That's where the troubles mostly are when people get away with that. So. But when this time she took, she took care of it herself. But the umpire was right as well, so you know. Yeah, well, we're in charge. Exactly. And if if the service judge is not calling it, it's not a fault. Comfortable lead now in this uh, opening game for the world number seven. Oh, great mess. Fantastic. 17, 10. So strong. Her ability to come with power from that. You, you see, she doesn't even turn her legs around, so it's only the arm and the stomach. 
She doesn't really get in a position where normally players do the scissor kick in, in their footwork. Here she, she just gains so much power just from the arm position. Here you see the scissor kick smash. Uh, yeah, from there she's, 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 that's, that's what she likes the most. She's, 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 she's really hanging in there. I like that with Hammond. Well, she's not. If you look at the the, num the numbers, it's you know, of course it's not looking as the best set in the world or, or game in the world. But I actually think she's been doing quite well. She's just up against a better player here. So I think so far she can be very happy with her performance. The last results was I think it was five and ten. That's you right. Know, she's, so she's already passed that. Yeah. She passed that so. Something positive for her to take into the next game. Oh. And this time, she didn't find the back line. And that cost a set, a <laughs> game. Yeah, it was uh, a decent display, wasn't it, from Permanova, but really after the interval, she and was able to pick up uh, a couple of points. And Simon Ewell really got her power game going. Great height on that one. And you see that that's the tempo. The tempo the sign is playing it now is difficult for Pamino to, to 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 control and without doing mistakes. So I think she just took it up a gear from from 11. So 21-11. The scoreline in the opening game, sign and Awal halfway there in terms of getting through to the third round. Jim, you've uh, obviously you played in three world championships yourself. You know, you played at this level, albeit not in singles, but in, in doubles. You know, with someone like Sina, she's had those injury problems. When you win an event like Australia Super Series event, you know, when you consider as well that the only other event she won was a, a Grand Prix event, she didn't win at all in 2013. How much of a lift will that have given her ahead of you know this and the Asian Games? A lot. You know, it's very important. I think it's very important to get, you know, the same as we talked about Jan Jørgensen from Denmark, to get that result before build up to a world championship. Because you get such a, such a confident boost from it. And at the same time, all, you know, if you come home with a, with a loss, you, you maybe doubt the things you do in training, or, you know, is this the right thing I'm doing? You know, here she knows, oh, this is working. Um, now it's just to put in the hard work, just. But <laughs> it's it's she has something to she has something to look for and say hey I know this is working so I think it's very important especially when it, it comes to those the big matches coming up and that no disrespect to Perman over but you know she's battling as hard as she can out there but 11 points is in some kind of set realms of success but you know it could well be a couple of Chinese opponents to come next Han Lee and then one would expect Li Shuei. They're big matches to come, and then you've got that belief, you know, last time out. Yeah. No one could get the better of me. No, definitely. It always helps 
to win matches. That's, that's just how it is. We always see it in all sports. So that's why I think sometimes it's, it can be smart for, 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 especially I think European players sometimes, a lot of, I think European players go to Asia and plays too early sometimes. That means they go out and get, you know, first round here, second round here, first round. That's not really good for the confidence. I think it would be better sometimes to, f to find some tournaments there's, you know, more or less for you um, ability. Uh, and then get some wins under your belt and then start looking for the the big uh, tournaments. Yeah, it's difficult to know when, doesn't it? I mean, it, it is difficult, but but it's it's definitely not helping losing all the time. <laughs> so, um, I think I've seen many players that say, okay, he or her, he or she actually won a less Three, good tournament, but you could see that the confidence from that is moving into the other tournaments. I think we saw Dieter Domke yesterday, who said he had been having quite good results, but yeah. he hasn't been in the Super Series. Or yeah, been the, in the, the last two events, he'd been in two finals. So. Exactly, and he beat Kasher yesterday. So, which for you, of course, wasn't the biggest surprise, I know. But <laughs> <laughs> I predict him right now and again. <laughs> Doesn't uh, happen too often. shot from Saina Newa and she's just stretching away here at the start of this second game. Oh, that's a great net shot. So much control. I really like Saina's technique. It's a technique a lot of young female players should be looking at. There's a lot of disguise shots and deception shots. Same as we see Ratchanak from Thailand. We see a, a new breed of young female players come with, with this kind of technique, and I think it's it's a thing we get, have to get used to in ladies singles that we will be able to do more. It's uh, tough on Permanova. The small margins aren't going her way here. And uh, eight of the first nine points at the start of this second game have gone the Indians' way. Yeah, she simply can't follow nine, anymore. One. Seeing as playing too well, too fast, too strong. And she's, of course, also learned a little bit about what, what kind of weapons does over half. I, I, I know she probably knew that before, but it's different to be in there. So. Again, again, it's amazing. It wasn't far away. In the first game, she was able to find the, yeah. the length. And in the second game, it's just been marginally out. It's made all the difference to the scoreline, hasn't it? Yeah. Today we saw a few comebacks, but I would be surprised if this one. <laughs> or maybe she wants me to say that. Uh, oops. Service over, 11 2, interval. Yeah, very impressive from uh, Sina Neywa. Very good follow up there and goes to the body. That was probably going to go out. Yeah, it was 11 9 in the opening uh, game, just after the interval. Since then, Permanova's only picked up four points. 11-2 at the interval in game two. Yeah, she still needs to get three points to get 
more than the last time. So that should be a goal, I think, for her. Now I don't think going f going for a win would this time probably be a little bit unrealistic. Seconds. But going to try and have a goal. Yeah, she's also smiling a little bit to go and and and, and get that goal of having getting more points than last time. Then maybe something could happen. Yeah, you know the match is over. Go out and enjoy. You're playing in front of a decent crowd in the Bellarup Super Arena. Yeah, in a great arena. She, she wouldn't be used to these standards of tournaments, so this is... Oh, there you go. Yeah. A bit of fist pump as well. Enjoyed that. That's fantastic. This is, this is what we like to see from a player, you know, the belief. They played it perfectly. Yeah, fantastic shot. Push to the back of the court. Following up with the smash. That's wide. And there you have it. Four eleven. Just one more. Towards her coaches there. It looked like she played it good again, but she's just she's lost that distance control, hasn't she? Yeah. Not by much. That's a great shot. Fantastic. And that again, was, a fist pump. Yeah, you know? that was probably the best Five, shot of the well, match, really. Yeah. Oh, that's a beauty. I like the reaction there. And you see, more points and looks a little bit better than 11 2. So. But then she comes up with something like that. So it is, of course, difficult, but... Listen, you can only play your best, can't you, really? Yeah. Say Pamanova must be, you know, if she continues to progress like this, this is something we, we at least in Europe needs to maybe get used to seeing. I think there's some some things in her game that that it wouldn't be a, wouldn't be the best players to get in the first round. And if she continues to progress, then uh, you know she's moving quite well. She's got some good shots, you know. She's just up against, uh, up against a better opponent here, so uh, I think she she could be quite happy with her performance here. Yeah. She had a difficult spell, didn't she, after the interval of the last game, start of the second, but that apart, she's played some really good shots. <laughs> and for Sina, uh, yeah, a, a good good outing it's been she's been pushed but not pushed too hard no exactly. and she's had to you know find some some yeah. really good shots to to get the better it's of her opponent and it, it sets her up nicely yeah, doesn't perfect it perfect perfect because the worst thing is that you don't want to feel like you're up against the wall the is next time you play uh, well, because it's just everything is just so fast yeah she's been pushed a little bit she's had a little scare a little scare not not a lot but a little scare I said oh this this girl can play so this is a perfect game for her. She reacted well to the net cord there, didn't she? Sign a nail up. 
Great point. It's a good rally here. Oh, what a winner. What a rally. And maybe we shouldn't ride off too early. <laughs> I think you're stretching it a little yeah, bit there, I know, Jim. I know, I know. I'm a believer. But but this it's fun to see her play like that. I think the last five rallies we've seen Permanent were really actually playing equally to, to, to Sena. And I think it's also down to now, ah, you know, it's pretty much, much lost this match. And you actually see what maybe that could come out of Permanent over here. If she continues to progress, because she will get more and more confidence. Service over. And at the minute, in, if you talk about European and ladies badminton, then there is there was a lot of uh, lot of chances. Well, she got to the last 16 of the European Championship, lost to the eventual winner, Carolina Marin. Yeah. Some help Seven. there from the line judge, but it wasn't coming. Nice. That's a chance. I saw that out as well. Oh, I see. But again, why not use it? Just for the fun of it. Yeah. Well, the game's <laughs> going to be over shortly, isn't it? Yeah. It, it did look out. Pretty close. <laughs> I'm calling it out. Good call, line Jets. Here we go. It's in. You were 100% yesterday, Jim. Yeah. No percent today so far. Well, I don't like to be 100 percent, so that's why. <laughs> you like no. being no percent? Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> no. So Something in between. 818, two challenges no. remain. Well, her goal now should be to get into double digits, I think. No, just one more and then. Just out. Service over. 20. Match point. Nine. Oh. 11 match points. And she Nine. takes it. Sign an AWOL at the first time of asking. But take nothing away from Natalia Perman over Straits game win yesterday over Anna Ranking. And well, she played some really good badminton at times in this second round match, but she's up against a classy performer in Sina Newell. And the Indian the number seven seed is safely through to round three. 21-11, 21-9 the score. Just over half an hour on court. And uh, good workout, you have to say, for the Indian. I do. And I think Permanent can be very proud of her performance here. So, court ready for the next match. Confirmation of the scoreline there. 21-11, 21-9. 